worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello, welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio God sent us to be a blessing to you and daily this ministration comes via this radio station and several other radio stations within Ibadan and or your state. Don't miss it every day. He said, give us this day our daily bread, daily ministration, daily impartation, daily anointing, daily inspiration. It will just turn your life around for good. Don't miss it. It will bless you. God sent us to be a blessing to you. This is the eighth day in December. Eight is God's number for a new beginning. A new chapter. God wants to open a new chapter in your life. New support, new help, new strength, new anointing, new laughter, new money. The old is gone. Whatever you suffered in the past is gone. God is opening a new chapter. Don't miss it. We always start with a confession. Faith is a confession. Say what God's word says to your life. At the end of the day, it is God's word that we stand. Take this confession with us. Say with me, I'm in the presence of God Almighty. Amen. And in his presence, Amen. there is joy forevermore. At his right hand, there are pleasures. From now on, I come out of pressures of life. I come to the pleasure of God. Your anointing, fresh oil of grace, pour on me today. Your countenance of mercy, shine on me today. Guide every step I will take. Take me to my destiny place. In all my actions. In all my assignments. I will enjoy your divine companion. I will enjoy your grace. Let favor surround me like a shield. Let mercy cover me. In your power. I will soar higher. Under your grace, I will fulfill my purpose. Whatever is attacking me, your power will attack them. I am covered. I am protected. I am blessed. I am favored. I am lifted. I am promoted. I am empowered. I am a saint servant of God. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable in every area of life. I will enjoy your sweetness. Whatever my life needs next, it shall be delivered now. The next level is before me. I'm stepping there. And not only me, all my children, all my siblings, my entire household, we shall enjoy God's favor. We will live to our good old age. I shall not be cut down. I will not be cut short. Every arrow sent to me will be fire back to the sender. Only with my eyes will I see the reward of the wicked. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name. Let your amen be so strong. Wow. You will not just be taking confession. You will be seeing manifestation at a very high level. Now, from faith confession, we go to word ministration. I started yesterday talking about the next level grace. I want to continue with it. Next level grace. It is by grace. Anything we become, anything we receive is by grace. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, it says, For by grace are we saved. Only grace alone. Only grace alone. What is grace? Grace is a divine force that removes inertia that breaks protocol i don't know who i'm saying now evil protocol is about to be broken in your life whatever we want to become if it is true god is by grace there are those who go to other forces other gods go to shrines to help them do things get promotion get married get visa have babies but whatever the devil gives will give you problem the devil's apples are full of worms Only God gives you things and you don't have headache about it. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. He says the blessings of God makes rich and does not add sorrow. A translation that I read lately said the blessings of God 
makes you rich and does not remove your sleep. <laughs> oh, God give her his beloved sleep. Does not remove your sleep, does not create your anxiety, does not cut your life short. By grace alone. Next level grace. Somebody listening to me now, you are due for a next level. Yes. Grace. Grace breaks protocol. Grace is a living force from a living God for a living proof. Can I say that again so that you can capture it properly and write it down and use it as a prayer point? Grace is a living force from a living God for a living proof. God wants to make you the proof of his grace. After this encounter, you will become a living proof of his grace. You become a living testimony. Hey, those who want to know how good God is, we come and see you. Your life will become an open demonstration of the goodness of God. You become a Tory center. The Bible says, after Jesus raised Lazarus from the grave, and Lazarus sat at the feet of Jesus Christ, said next day, the entire city came, not only to hear Jesus, but to see Lazarus that he raised from the dead. Lazarus became a USP, unique selling point. Lazarus became advertisement for the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy to somebody's life, Many will come to see the goodness of God in your life. You will become the role model of every good thing. A happy family, a healthy body, a lucrative business, a prosperous life, an holy life, anointed, powerful, used by God. You will become the sinosure of all eyes. He says you are like a city that is set on the hill. That is what your life will become. Your life will become a testimony of his grace. That is what my life is. You hear my story every day. You read it in my book. You hear it over the radio. If where one was born and the level and the caliber of one's parents is what determines what somebody will be in life, I had no chance. God raised me poor. I was born poor, raised poor, living poor until God's grace found me and it changed me. It turns a zero into a hero. It turns my nobody into somebody. It turns my mediocrity into celebrity a crawler it turns me to a giver and a success i was a backbencher it turned me to a frontliner i was a ridicule it turned me into a miracle open your hand i prophesy grace we found you grace we find your children grace we find your platform grace we find your network grace we turn your ministry around grace we turn your family around Oh, I just described myself to you. Now, sometimes I remember where I'm coming from. Tears will just be welling up my eyes. The next tears you will shed will be the tears of joy. Level must change. It is time for a change in level. You may begin small. You must not remain small. Now, if you don't want to remain small, if you hate change, you remain in chains. Times are changing. Everything in life is changing. The climate is changing. Government is changing. People are changing. The way of doing things are changing. We are in the new normal. Technology is changing. Marketing is changing. Prices are changing. Anyone stagnant will be left behind. In today's world, there must be a change is inevitable. Daniel chapter 2 verse 21 is describing God. He said God changes times and seasons. Change is a must if you want a better result. Pray to God today, release your change grace into my life. There is what we call grace for change in level. Your level is changing. I want you to desire, I want you to pray, I want you to walk towards the change. Many businesses are closing down. Why? They refuse to change to the way businesses are done these days. Many products have lost clients and customers. Why? Because they have refused to change to the new things. The only thing that is permanent, permanent in life is change. What has changed in your life in the last of two or three years? Ah, I want to prophesy. You will witness the change you desire. God wants to break the chains, put you in charge. Oil for change is coming on you. And that is what we are coming for this Sunday at Dominion City. Oil of change in Jesus' name. I will build more on this tomorrow. And something great will happen in your life. Can we go on and listen to testimonies? Here are these testimonies. They are coming from people like you. Now, receive these testimonies. My name is Shadrach Diamond Itiat. I'm here to thank God for the fact that God delivered me from the spirit of addiction. I was addicted to drugs. I took drugs. I lost a whole lot of money for drugs. I took drugs for almost 12 years and just 
uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit and through my mom's persistent concern, she bought the overcomers oil and kept administering, um, administering it to me in the night before I slept. She would come to my room and I would just anoint me. I'd be like, Mom, well, I didn't really believe, but later on I got convinced and I came to church. And the day I came, I came out for altar and I was baptized. Praise the Lord. My name is Egbe Nkaebolua. I want to thank God because right from the last moment I gave my testimony last. It has been testimony upon testimony. In fact, I cannot explain. But I want to thank God. Last week Thursday, the car we boarded, the iron from the door entered my leg. So we didn't quickly discover until I came down. My roommate was like, blood. I'm like, well, let's go for test. And that leg kept on paining me. But because I found the habit of using my anointing as body cream and always anoint myself before I go out. So when I got home, I just cleaned it then, used my mantle and I slept. The next day, the injury like went off. It was looking like a scratch. There was no hole or anything. Everybody I heard about it kept on asking. I had to be explaining that it was a hole. So it's not like I was overreacting when it happened. I had to keep on explaining, but there was no traces of any hole. Secondly, I want to thank God because everything, almost everything I wrote on my memo is already being answered. And I want to thank God for those that are yet to come. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. My name is Akinwale Olajimo Kyolofiniyi. I have a cousin that stay with me. When she come, when she lost her mother at the age of nine. So when she came to come and stay with me, she was in SS1. Mm. Her problem is mathematics. Mm. During the time she wants to write the YEC, we are even afraid that we are looking for money to register NECO so that even if she doesn't make the YEC, yeah. she will make, make the NECO. But glory be to God, she has three C, the mm. rest B. Wow. The YEC, we didn't pay cover. For the jump, she sat for the jump. Mm. She got above the cutoff mark. Yeah. So when they now give her admission, Unilag. Mm. So they now said that everybody were asking, ah, by way, she said, do you know people that we don't know anybody? It's yes, only so God we know that God. we know. But one thing that I know is that she used to come here. Mm. She write the exam with her mantle. Everything she's uh-huh. doing with her mantle, yes, so and she's praying. Really her faith. So to now pay the school fees. I told one of my cousins that is in abroad, he said we should not be worried. Hmm. The uh, little, little money they're asking for, we are paying the money, we are hmm. doing it. But on Friday, Friday. night, stroke, the following morning, yes. we just saw a lot of another 100,000. <laughs> my name is Baby Owa. Um, sometime about two weeks ago, I had this dental pain. Hmm. And... Usually I know how to deal with it, but this one I just couldn't deal with it. Mm. So because I had previously booked an appointment with a, a colleague in FMC, I, I applied all I could, nothing. So mm. I took Holy Communion, and I now sprayed anointing oil on it. Mm. As I'm talking to you, mm. everything has vanished. Ah, the owner of the evil Lord has come to carry it. Another one happened this week. I just looked at my account. It was just as dry as Sahara Desert. But me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried because I know that you always care for me. Yes. I don't bother. If you come close to me, you know that. I don't really bother about many things. So by the end of the day, I got a reasonable alert. So I give God all the glory. Alert upon alert. Everybody, raise your cell phone. I prophesy alert upon alert. They will remember you from high places. From far and near, a lot will be coming. Nationally and internationally, a lot will be coming. In Jesus' name. Wow, you will not just be hearing testimonies. You will be having plenty of it to share. Now, Shiloh is here. Time is upon us. I've been announcing this. The annual conference, international conference, global conference. All listeners in Ibadan, the entire of your state, all over Ogun Ocean, and on those states and Lagos state, you are not far. People are coming from all over the country, all over the world. It's an annual gathering. It is called Shiro or World Lifting Conference. Beginning from next Monday, Monday, December 11 to December 17. December 11, Monday, it will start by 4 p.m. till about 8 p.m. From Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, it will be three sessions each day. Ministering along with me this year, 
are great men of God, global dimension, people with result. Let their result and the anointing rub off on you. Listen to them talk to you. Glory to Jesus. Greetings, great people of God. My name is Olari Wajubola. Just don't call me Big B. I'm using this medium to invite you to the World Lifting Conference with our Father, Pastor Femi Manuel, and other anointed men of God. I will be there to minister in music, and so many, so many other gospel music ministers will be there. From the 11th of December to the 17th of December, there will be morning sessions, afternoon session, evening sessions. It's going to be an awesome time in the Holy Ghost. Plan prepare to be there you don't want to miss this one shiloh 2023 the world lifting conference here in ibadan at dominion city here in ibadan or your state don't forget it's happening from the 11th of december to the 17th of december i will be there live and i look forward to meeting you there i pray that god keeps us beyond the date in jesus mighty name and i'd love to say it in yoruba for those who understand yoruba emma leads you see you there Hello, wonderful people. My name is Tokwe Alabi. I'm coming to this year's World Lifting Conference, holding at Dominion City, Ibadan, together with God's servant, our father, Pastor Femi Emmanuel, and other anointed vessels of God to minister to you by the grace of God. Date is from Monday, December 11th to Sunday, 17th. Morning, it will be morning, afternoon, and evening. Pray and plan to be there. Invite members of your family. Tell somebody on your street. Tell somebody on the other street. And tell somebody to tell somebody. It shall be great. Honestly, and I'm telling you, God will bless you. God is set to bless you all in the name of Jesus. Let's meet again at Shiloh this year. Don't miss it. Looking forward to see you there in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, I remain yours. Talk where I'll be. Any theory or Hi, I'm Matthew Shimelo, senior pastor, KRCC London, England. Taking this time to invite you to join me and Pastor Femi Emmanuel at the great live lifting conference, which will be holding in Dominion City in Ibadan. I tell you, it's going to be a great time. Healings will be done, deliverance, miracles, favors will be released, breakthroughs will happen. There will be direct prophetic word for you, your family, individuals, corporately. You must not miss this conference. It's going to be very life changing from December 11 to the 17th. I'll be there live, ministry, laying hands praying for people, believing God for the miraculous in your life. I'll see you there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to know that they shall mark the beginning of better things in your life. I'm Pastor David Ibiomi of Salvation Ministries, Port Harcourt. I want to invite every one of you in the battle and beyond to be a part of what God is doing in this year's One Lifting Conference coming up in Dominion City Battle from Monday 11th to Sunday 17th of December 2023. We have morning, after and evening sections. And by God's grace, I'll be there live alongside with other ministers of the gospel to be a blessing to everyone that'll be a part of this year's conference. I will minister alongside with Pastor Femi Emmanuel. Don't just hear from others. Come and be a part, and your life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus, your story must change this year, and you end the year well in Jesus' name. Wow! Did you hear that? Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, KICC from London. He's coming all the way from London. Pastor David Ibiome, coming all the way from Port Harcourt. He do hear Tokpe Alabi's voice. He do hear Big Bolaji for worship. Come. Date is Monday, December 11 to December 17. I will be ministering. Anointed mantle will be given to you for praying and doing miracle. Bring your cell phone. Alert upon alert. Impartation. Babies for the waiting mothers, husband for singles, visa for those who want to travel, job for applicant, promotion for those working, expansion, financial breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough. Come with your family, bring your friends, come as couples, come as individual, bring your olive oil bottle, bring your water bottle. We will give you anointed mantle for free. Come early in all the days so that you can secure a seat on the inside. There will surely be overflow. I don't want you to sit in the overflow. I want you to sit on the inside. 
Saturday, December 16, and Sunday, December 17, will be one single service, 8 a.m. in the morning. Come, I will be giving you anointed mantle and oil. Now, for all ministers in the fivefold ministries, please note this. If you are a minister of God, a leader in the body of Christ, an elder, now, Wednesday, December 13, is the special ministers' conference day in the morning, 8 a.m. Ministering that day will be Reverend Matthew Ashimolo, David Ibiome, and myself, Iron Sharpens Iron. The grace and the anointing for enlargement, for prosperity, for empowerment, for the miraculous, working in our life and in our ministry will be imparted to yours. You will no longer be small. Resources, human resources, financial resources, material resources, they will be overflowing in your life. After that, impartation secret of explosive and expansive ministry please come now i will have a luncheon with all in the fivefold ministries general overseers bishops apostles pastors evangelists teachers now we will need to secure a seat and a ticket for that luncheon so you will need to send an sms or a chat or a call to akifenwa on 0805 a0294 0805 a0294 I call it one more time, 0805-802194, second line, 0813-485-2813, 0813-485-2813. All in the fivefold ministries, general overseers, pastor, founders, pastors, resident pastor, area pastor, district pastor, evangelists and teachers, come, you need to secure a seat to send, I will be coming, I'm a pastor, I'm a bishop, you will secure your seat and also get your ticket ready. Then this Sunday, I invite all those listening to me now, in and around the Badon, outside the Badon, to any of our two services this Sunday. Our services are short, short services. First service is 7 to 9 a.m., two hours in the morning. Second service is 9 to 11 a.m., another two hours. It's going to be oil for refreshing, to cancel ridicule, Put miracle, if you are making it before, you make it better. Come as a family, come as individual, bring your little ones. We have a wonderful children's Sunday school to build these little ones to great light for you. Bring your sons and daughters, a 13 to 19, teenagers setting. We will produce for you sons and daughters that are morally sound, intellectually great, and spiritually okay. It will bless you. If you are coming in your car, ample car park, Beautiful serenity. Buses will be positioned at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, and at Poplar Petrol Station, Iwo Road, to bring people to Dominion City in the two services. Dominion City is on the road. You will enjoy it. Come, take taxi, take vehicle, drive your car. Just come. The Lord will bless you and lift, lift you higher. I will be personally waiting for you. Hold your hand, pray for you, and bless you this Sunday. I'll give you telephone numbers to call. Please do so for the Shiloh Encounter, December 11 to 17, for this Sunday, in two services. Those are the phone numbers to call. There are communities that are not far away from Dominion City. I always call you out. I'll be waiting for you. If people are coming from all over Ibadan, as big as Ibadan is, coming from your, coming from other cities, other towns, then you are so privileged. So all residents, you are our neighbors. The Midiri Estate, Olong Tedo Estate, Jackon Area, Adulogu Community, Iano Bodija, Ori of First Street, Alag Banyo, A3 Hotel Area, Samba, Murayo Hotel Area, Alag Banyo, Quarters, A3 Hotel Area, Rainbow Area, Kajorepo Kajola Community, Ajao Community, Agbowo Express, Barika Waterside, Ojo, Bashorun, MFM Bus Stop Area, Major Salau Area, Ashi Bodija, General Gas, Akobo area, Akala Way, and the University of Ibadan. All of you, you are not far from Dominion City at all. A drop or two, 20 minutes drive, 10 minutes drive, 20 minutes walk, 10 minutes walk, 15 minutes walk. You are there. Remember, people are coming from all over Ibadan, outside Ibadan. I will be waiting to receive everyone this Sunday at Dominion City. I've given you telephone numbers to call, to also connect to our social media platform. It is our same number the power of God will be heavy on you. You have privilege to talk to us. We receive you. There are two families an individual must have 
your natural family, your spiritual family, which is the church. Let's become your family. Let Living Spring Chapel Dominion City become your family. Join the TPGF Global and become a global community. We can only make your life better. It will change you. It will prosper you. What is left for me now is to prophetically bless your life. Receive these prophetic blessings and be saying, Amen. I receive it. Receive it. I stand here in the name of God Almighty through Jesus Christ and prophesy to all those good things you have in mind, it shall become accomplished. Amen. Those items you have brought to represent where you want the hand of God to reach, you will bring testimony over them. Amen. The unchanging changer will change every adverse situations around you. Amen. He said, it's the Lord that changes times and season. Amen. If you have been going through bad times, end has come to that in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have been going through difficult situations, I speak over your situations. Turn around now. Amen. Turn around now. Amen. Over those difficult issues, you will have sweet testimonies. Amen. There may be economic meltdown. There may be hyperinflation. Things may be tough. There may be no sales. Things are hard. Currency devaluation, economic meltdown around you. But for you, you shall move higher. Amen. This is your time. Amen. This is your season. Amen. I see celebrations around you. Amen. You shall not be denied. You shall not be defeated. You shall not die young. You will fulfill your days. You will be happy. Your testimony will draw others to Christ. You are blessed forever. Say amen three times. Amen, amen, amen. Wow. You will not just be hearing prophetic blessings. You will become a blessing. You will live in the realities. Don't forget what I have announced to you. Write it down. Prepare yourself. Monday, December 11th. That's next week to December 17th. And this Sunday in two services. Those of you that are already coming, consistency is key when you are working with God. I will build on this tomorrow. Femi Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a beautiful day.